In today's video, we're going to be looking at maximizing area, focusing on fencing problems. So for our first question here, we have Sam. What Sam wants to do is he wants to create a rectangular enclosure uh, to hold his vegetables. Uh, what are the dimensions that are going to maximize area? Okay, so here's the situation. Sam's got 100 meters of fencing. So this is sort of the amount of material you have to work with. And he wants to create a rectangular structure. So regular rectangular structure here looking something like this. We don't know the dimensions of this, so let's label, I'll label um, these sides with X's because it's a rectangle, those will be the same length, and likewise I'll label these with Y's. So what we want to do is we want to maximize the area. Well, the area of a rectangle, as you know, is length times width, or in this case, X times Y. Now here's the thing, you can't maximize multivariables, right? We can't maximize something that's two variables. So what I have to do here is I have to get this down to one variable. Either I have to express this all as x or express this all as y. Well, what else do we know? I'm given the fact that um, Sam has 100 meters of fencing to use up. That's not a concept of area. That's a concept of perimeter. Well, the perimeter of this shape is going to be what? Well, it's going to be 2x plus uh, you're also going to have 2y. So when I put this together here, you're going to have 2x plus 2y. Well, I know what the p-value is. That's my perimeter. That's the amount of material I have to work with. That's 2x plus 2y. If I divide across by 2, you get 50 equals x plus y. So what I can do here is I'm going to isolate for y, or you could equivalently isolate for x. It doesn't matter. And now I have y represented as x. So I'm going to sub that into my equation here. So I'm going to get rid of that y, and I'm going to replace that with a 50 minus x. So now what I want to do is I want to be able to maximize this. Now this is a quadratic. Notice that if I do expand out, the leading coefficient is negative. So because of that, it's going to open downwards. And therefore, since it opens downwards, I can find the max value. All right, that'll be my vertex. And that's what we want. Well, if I can find where it crosses the x-axis, which will be these two points, I can average those out and I can get the middle and find my vertex. So if you set your area equal to zero, we would be finding my roots. And in this case here, solving for this here, you're going to get x is zero, or 50 minus x is zero, in which case x is 50. So the two roots of this quadratic here are going to be zero and 50, which means the axis of symmetry is the average of the two, which is 25. So that means to get maximum area, we have to let x be 25. Okay, well, what's the value of y? Therefore, as we know, I know this has to sum to be 50, and in which case here, that must mean that 25 plus y is 50, in which case y is 25. So it turns out that this is actually not a rectangle to maximize area. It's actually going to create a square. So the area of this is x times y, which is going to be 25 times 25, which is 625. In this case, it's measured in meters. The original question gave us the fencing in meters. So the answer is going to be 625 meters squared. So again, it turns out that to maximize the area of the shape, you have to create a square. Now, in general, whenever you're maximizing a rectangle consisting of four sides, it will always be a square. So uh, the point being here is that, and this is true uh, in general. So if, let's say, we took this question and we changed 100 meters to 200 meters, it would just take 200 divided by 4, and you'd have the, the perimeter, uh, the dimensions of the rectangle. If this was 500 meters, you take 500 divided by 4, and that would give you the length of each side. So in general, if you have yourself a four-sided rectangle and you want to maximize that area, you just turn it into a square, and that'll always be max area. Okay, moving on here, let's take a look at the next example. Now, in this example, it's a slight, slight adjustment to what we have here. So we have Sam, again, has 100 meters of fencing to work with. Uh, again, we want to create a rectangular enclosure. Same situation, but this time, this is where it changes. One of the sides is against the house, so we don't need any fencing on that side. Now the question becomes what are the dimensions that are going to give max area here? 
So we'll label these with X's because they have to be the same length, obviously. Label these with Y's. And there's this is no fence. Okay, so same idea here. Uh, the area of the shape, you want to maximize it, is going to be X times Y. Again, we can't maximize. You cannot maximize two variables. we got to get it down to one. Well, this in this situation here, the perimeter of this object is different. Because we're only using three sides, the perimeter is going to be X plus X plus Y. So the perimeter is actually 2X plus Y in this case. Uh, replacing uh, the perimeter with 100, because that's the amount of fencing we have, we have Y equals... 2x plus y. And now again, I want to get this down to one variable. You can isolate for x or y. It's easier here to isolate for x. So I'm going to go ahead and isolate for x. So now I have y equals 200 minus x. And then I can sub that in to my equation. So in which case here, I get area equals x times 100 minus 2x. And now we want to maximize this. Again, um, the leading coefficient of this is negative, which means the quadratic is going to open downwards. And once again, we want to find that max value. That max value is my vertex, so I want to average these out here. Um, I have to find my roots. Well, set your area equal to zero. And then the two roots are zero. And 100 minus 2x is zero. So negative 2x is negative 100 and x is 50. So in this situation here, I have roots at 0 and 50. So um, when we go to solve this, we have roots at 0 and 50. The max happens at the middle, which is going to be 25 here. And now um, that's where the maximum happens. Sub that into, that's my x value, sub that into y right here to find my y value. So the corresponding y value is going to be y equals 100 times 2 times 25. And y comes out to be 50 here. So now if you take a look here, the dimensions that give a max area are going to be 25 by 50. That will be the dimensions that give max area. And uh, the max area in this case is going to be 1,000. 250 meters squared. Okay, so you can see sort of the adjustment on this question here. Uh, in the previous question, we had four sides and it just created a square. Now it turns out if you want to maximize area, it's not a square this time. It, the dimensions that will give max area for this situation are going to be 25 by 50. And that will give your max area for this shape. Okay, let's take a look at the next problem. For the next problem here, um, instead of giving you the amount of perimeter that, that you, is needed, they actually give you the price, amount of money, I should say, that you have. So in this case here, Sam has $1,250 to work with. We still want to create a rectangular enclosure. Um, the only other thing you know, though, this time, is we don't have the perimeter and the amount of material to work with, but we have the amount of money we want to spend, and we have the cost per meter of fencing, which is $2.50. Uh, once again, um, this is um, one side of the fence is going to go against the house, right? So maybe this is our fencing that goes against the house, and then we're going to go ahead and create ourselves um, another rectangle here, all right? And what's going on here, right, we don't know these dimensions. This is X and X. This is Y. Uh, we want to maximize the area, which will be X times Y. But I don't have a perimeter. Like the perimeter of this is just as it was in the previous question, 2X plus Y. But I need to figure out this perimeter value. What would the perimeter be? Well, if I know if I have one thousand two hundred fifty dollars to spend, and I know that every time I spend two dollars and fifty cents, I know I'm going to get one meter of fencing. When I divide that out, you get five hundred. So that means that I have, without telling you directly, you essentially have five hundred meters of fencing to use up. Right? And the reason for that is because this is the amount of money that I have to work with. This is the cost per meter of fencing. Dividing out gives me 500 meters of fencing. So my perimeter in this question is 500. And that's probably about the only sort of adjustment that can happen. So once again, you isolate and solve for y. Uh, again, we can't maximize two variables. So I have to get rid of one of them. So I'm going to get rid of that y again. And once again, we're left with a quadratic that opens downwards. 
and I want to find that vertex value so to find my roots so you set your a value to 0 so you can find the roots in which case here we get x is 0 or solving for the other one you get 500 minus 2x is 0 in which case we get x is 250 so the roots are 0 and 250 if I average these out here you're gonna get 125 so it turns out the dimensions uh, for this is the y the x value I should say is 125 and now we sub it back in here so I'm going to sub that back into my y value here to find the corresponding y value so the y value here is going to be 500 minus 2 times 125 is going to be 250 so the dimensions that give max area are going to be 125 by 250 uh, that's going to give you 31,000 250 uh, square meters of fencing. So this concludes uh, the lesson on quadratic equations, using them to maximize area for rectangular enclosures. These are the three types of questions generally you can be seen here. You can be given the amount of money and the cost per meter of an object, and then you can use that to deduce the um, amount of material that you need to work with. Uh, and then like we saw earlier here, you can get questions where you, know, you have, the, you have a three-sided structure where you don't need to put fence in on every side. And then lastly, if you do have a four-sided enclosure, it's always going to be a square. So you just divide the total perimeter by four, and that's the length of each side that gives max area. Again, there's two other types of word problems. Those will be uh, linked at the end of the video if you want to check them out. One is motion of object, and the other is going to be revenue and profit. Thank you.